Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use Fire Alpaca. First things first, you're going to want to open a new page. So you go to new, You here you see weight and height. You click OK and it appears as a transparent page. So what you want to do is you want to grab your bucket, which is right here. And you could just click white like this. Or if you want, you could just leave it as transparent. And this is a, a layer. See, I just opened a layer right here by clicking on this blank little page icon. And this is how you create a folder. Folders are useful if you want to have like a separate thing. For example, I have a separate for sketches, line art, and colors. So I'm just going to show you how to uh, color here. You want to use uh, the pen. So here you are. Just make it a little brighter. Okay. So this, this is the pen. This is how the pen looks. And we'll open a new layer. And this is how the uh, pencil looks. So it looks more finer, sort of like you're coloring like with a pencil in you know, real life. And then we have your airbrush. This is what I like to use for clouds or blush or anything. I have two of them. One of them is for a lighter tone. For example, if you just want to add a very slight little hue there. And here's a character I drew just for example. So here's what I said earlier about the uh, the folders, why they're useful. This is the line art. I could just uh, make it disappear by pressing this little button here. And this is the color. So yeah, I could just uh, go here, go to where um, the skin is. And if I wanted to change the color, the skin without, you know, editing all this, you can just go to filter hue. And then you can just change it like so. So you can make her skin yellow, blue, and so on. I can also make it like a little more grayish or very, very bright and darkish and so on. And then we're just going to cancel that and do the same thing with the uh, hair and so on. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to duplicate a drawing. You just go like this and you duplicate the whole folder you see it's like now there's two folders if I open it like so you can also press Control alt and C to copy and Control alt V to paste and this is blur and uh, with how to use blur is well it's quite easy it just blurs the image like that you make it a little more intenser this is the blur intensity I put the 50-50 so you can just like blur this whole thing. And we're done. if you want to remove a picture, you just go to close. It'll ask you if you want to save it since it's nothing. I'll just go over here. And this is the background. So yeah, first what I will always do when I'm drawing something is basically open a layer, add like a, a sketch art like so. And then I would just open another one, add like a darker image to see how it takes over. That's what the layers are useful for because you don't have to ruin the page. And I'll just remove that and I'll just add like a color underneath the uh, layer here. Make it so like that. And also this is how you would uh, select something. You could just go like this as a square. You can also uh, change it to a circle, like so. Oh, yeah, you have to go to select and transform. And you can also go to uh, to this one. This is if you want to edit it like this. So it's select and mash transform. Okay. And uh, this one is for, yeah, if you want to just select a certain thing, like so, and you just go like that. And if you want to take a whole thing, just like, this is like a magical wand, you just go book, see, like that. And then you can also color something, like so. This is a selecting color, it's not a color color. And you can go to here to erase that, and you can go again to select and transform here, and you can just drag it like that. Okay. This is the erasers to erasers. This is just for easy if you want to go to here or here. 
and and then these are just uh, little things you can do you know for fun it's uh it's not something you use you can also go to backspace see i could just go to backspace to remove it without having to delete anything and you can go to marker this is a marker hold on let me show you a different color so you can see it's a little bit of red and it just keeps going like that and again you can make the intensity however you want it flowers leaves okay so bring back everything again all right so um yeah and then there's also this you can select a color so you can select uh, the black color you just go to this little thing right here this icon so I can select a color and just go and, yeah, and I just go like this. See, that's the same color over here. And uh, I think this is just to drag the paper. You don't really need to do that unless you want to. And let's see what else. Ah, yes, uh, the tools. So this is multiply. This is what multiply does. I'm going to show you an example. So this is what happens when you click on multiply. You can always just go back to normal if you want. And uh, this is add. This is what I use usually for uh, shiny, just to make it as shiny as possible. Okay. This is divide, overlay, lighten, darken. You can just play around with this because like, uh, you can always go back to normal so you don't have to worry about anything. And this one makes it gray. Burn, yeah. Difference is just it takes a difference, man. It looks she looks so damn scary. <laughs> uh, okay. Oops, uh, I want to remove the sketch here. So yeah, this is the sketch. Then you make the line art. Then you make the uh, whole thing. So if I wanted to uh, change your hair, like I showed you earlier. Just click on the hair, go to filter, go to hue, and you can just uh, color it. Ah, it's white, that's right. That's why it's not working. Okay, I'll just go to this one. Alright. Yeah, see, there we go. Make it more pinkish, make it yellowish, make it greenish. Make it purple. Make it uh, blue. Okay. Oh yes, you can also double tap on this and you can change the name. See, this is layer 32. That's what's going to be called every time you open a layer. It's going to be layer 1 and you open a second layer. It's going to be layer 2. So this is layer 32. We could just change it to ears. You click OK and now it says ears. Okay, and uh, let's see. What else can I show you guys? Oh, yes, this is how you delete it. This is how you merge a drawing. So I'm going to show you how to merge a drawing. You go like this. And then you open another one. Now another layer. You go like that. And then you can go merge. And now it becomes together. And you go also uh, drag many layers. For example, I have many layers of uh, the colors. But if I press this, I can just drag the whole thing like that. See, now it's away from uh, her line art. Which looks disturbing. And then we can just, uh, yeah, you can't really uh, change the hue when you have a, f no, when you have this. So what I like to do is, um, you just go to control C V and now you have, uh, yeah, now you have a double thing with this hole and you can just select the color and you can just change the way by pressing pr protect alpha. Alpha goes like this. All right, and if you want to like uh, go to clipping, clipping also does the same thing as Project Alpha, except you don't ruin the actual art. So you could just go like that, and you'll see this. So yeah, uh, a lock I think is to like so you don't uh, yeah so you don't mess it up if you don't want to mess something up. And oh yes, and this uh, changes how intense you see it. So if I go back to how it was, and I can just intense how you see it. Okay, and that's all the time we have right now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep on drawing.